Today we're going to melt that wig cap and use ghost bond glue. We're going to take our free spray, pins, our cap, our blow dryer, and we're going to pin our hair up. And we're going to get started. This is Olivia Taima. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, we are going to melt this wig cap and... I'm going to show you how to use ghost bond glue okay so what I did I put the wig cap on and I pushed my edges back and now I'm spraying the got to be free spray onto my hair and I'm cutting holes into the sides of my ears I got this idea from glamazon tape if you don't know who that is go and check her out she is amazeballs and I love all her videos So now that I did that to the other side, I'm just going to go back in with my free spray and I'm going to spray another layer and make sure I get my little sideburns because you know I didn't cut out my ears before, so I'm going to do that. And now I'm going to take my blow dryer on the cool setting and blow dry my hair. Add some more free spray and I'm just going to repeat this process about two times or one more time and basically, yeah, so free spray, blow dry, free spray blow dry it's good to put it on in layers so you can see what you're doing and know when to stop because if you just do it one time and it just doesn't stick and fall apart you're gonna be mad <laughs> so now that it's all dry we're going to take our scissors and we are going to cut away the ex excess <laughs> we're going to cut away the excess wig cap that we do not need now with this process when you start cutting um you're going to see some of the wig cap lifting off and do not worry. You're just going to cut away the parts that did not stick. That's all you're going to do so that you can get a seamless finish when you are putting your lace wig or your lace fronts on top of your head. So do not fear. Olivia is here. Okay, boo boo. So as you can see, um, Right there it was not sticking down, so I got the blow dryer and I blow dried it more. Then I'm going to cut, like, detach the part from the air loop in the back that's connecting it. And I'm going to get my free spray again, right? And I'm going to spray it and blow dry it. Um, You see? Spray and then blow dry do not worry about what's hanging i just left that there so that it could just have something where it can hold on to so that it won't keep rising up if you get what i mean so i just let that dangle i'm going to cut it when it's all dry and said and done so i'm going to finish cutting off the wig cap on the other side and as you can see i'm going to cut that part off these parts are really for the sideburns yeah so i'm going to just keep cutting off the excess cap as you can see the different colors on it um, the lighter brown is what we're going to cut off, of course, because that's not melted into the skin. And then I'm going to take my um, free spray, my got to be free spray, and I'm going to spray it on there and get my blow dry again on the cool setting and blow that again so that it can melt into my skin, you know? Do you know? Yeah, so I'm just going to keep cutting and cutting until... I get that melted look and you can't see the lines and it's seamless onto my skin and have that cap melted. And then we're going to move on to the next step using the ghost bond glue to lay our lace wigs, lace frontals, whatever it's lace, we're going to lay it on and it's going to be seamless and you're not going to even know I have this cap on. I'm pretty sure you see a million videos of this. So yeah, but this is just the way I like to do it so we're just going to keep cutting it okay so after i am done you know shaping up my little hairline i'm going to take my alcohol and rub off the excess gossa be free spray and make sure it's not there's nothing on my skin and that my area that where i want to put the glue is nice and clean so that it can stick and we won't have no issues all right you see me mm -hmm. bald head scallywag <laughs> So I placed the wig on my head. Um, if it looks like it's not moving and I keep tugging on it, it's because I have a band on and I didn't feel like taking off. But I leave the band on so it could be extra secured and my wig won't go nowhere even though the 
ghost bond is going to have it secured honey so you don't really need the band but yeah now i'm going to take some mousse and i'm just going to put that on my hair so that i can prevent any flyaways so when i'm gluing down this glue i don't have no hair stuck to my skin because you don't want that all right trying to remove or lift that hair up after it's stuck to your skin it's a lot it hurts <laughs> so to prevent that just try to use some mousse or clip your hair back and just comb it back and just have it all out of your way and that's me just tugging and trying to place the band and make it more comfortable on my head so now we're going to take the ghost bond supreme glue and we're just going to dab that on our forehead i'm going to do this in sections because that's how you get a more seamless and a more flawless look when you do that and then i'm going to take my tail comb and i'm going to spread it out as you can see that the glue is white right now we're going to make it dry until it's clear okay and then we're going to add another layer and we're going to do the same exact thing because you want this to look flawless all right and i love ghost bond glue because it literally dries really fast it takes nothing for it to dry at all as you can see so yeah just keep watching So now we're going to pull our frontal up and we're going to place it. I like to place it a little bit above the glue because as you can see, I have excess lace that I'm going to cut off when I'm done. And we're going to take the ends of our tail comb, not to our fingertips, and we're just going to just press on it so that it sticks. And then we're going to move on and get the um, ghost bond glue. I was about to say gossip be. Get the ghost bond glue again. And we're going to do the same thing that we did it on top and take our little rat tail comb spread that out spread out the love of the ghost bond glue and then we're going to let it dry remember we're adding two layers um you can add three if you want a supreme hold when i do this my lace frontals usually last for four days so that's all i need anyway <laughs> and then we're going to do the same thing to the other side with the ghost bond glue and i'm going to cut off that little cap that you see sticking out that's why i didn't proceed all the way down there so don't come for me okay don't come for me so now you see me adding a second layer to the side that we did we started with and then i'm going to use my comb and spread it out and then i'm going to have my little envelope <laughs> and i'm gonna fan it and yeah we're going to do the same thing to the other side now when i was doing this um i was having a little trouble with my air tabs due to the fact that when i originally made this wig um i didn't glue it down so i didn't really care about the air tabs or whatever the case may be and it wasn't really like a big issue to me because i really rushed when i made this wig so it was a little tricky but what you do you won't see the trick that i do so now we're gonna just pull the frontal forward once again and we are going see as you can see where i had the issue we're going to yeah yeah see 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 the issue that's what you don't want that's what you don't want there goes the issue make sure you have your ear tabs ready don't be like me because if i had my ear tabs ready this would have been one two three quick and easy and i wouldn't be going through what i've been going through okay so we're just going to take our back tail comb again and we're just going to just yeah mm-hmm girl mm-hmm 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 we're just going to do the other side now. <laughs> so basically, guys, this is basically me showing you how to melt your wig cap and use ghost bond glue. Ghost bond glue really helps you, especially if you're like you're like someone that doesn't want to wait on the gossip to be and feel like the gossip to be is just too much. Um, it's just really easy. It's really nothing to it. I like ghost bond glue better than the gossip to be. And I feel like because it's made for laces, it's really quick and easy to use. So yes, I recommend it. And by the way, this video is not sponsored, but I just love ghost bond glue. Okay. Now you see me parting out a section for my air tabs, which I should have been had ready with my rat tail comb. And I am going to take some scissors and I'm going to cut the part that I parted out. <laughs> and I'm going to proceed with my gluing. <laughs> that makes sense. 
And the way I'm cutting it, listen, this is just a rush job. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to do the trick. It's going to seal the deal. And it's going to be ready for what I want it to be ready for. Okay. I'm going to have a video on how to reconstruct a wig that you messed up on and all of that. So stay tuned for that. All right. Stay tuned for that because this was a rushed wig. This was a wig I actually wore to my baby shower and I made it the same day of my baby shower and I was really rushing. So this is why the wig is like it is. <laughs> but anyways, as you can see, now I'm having trouble with it sticking down due to the fact that I already had ghost bond there and then I'm trying to add another layer. That's like having old glue and try to add new fresh glue on top of it your skin is already you know prone to the old glue and i didn't wipe it off so it's like it's going to be a little harder for the air taps to stick so i'm going to do the same thing to the other side part it out cut it glue it put the hair in my damn mouth take my scarf and tie that bad boy down so it can stay all right that's what you do that's the trick all right all right where there's a will there's a way don't worry about that extra lace that you see it won't be there when i'm done i'm just gonna leave it for the t for the sake of time and for the sake of i don't know why i didn't cut it off when i wanted to cut it off but that's just the explanation you're gonna get right now so we're just gonna add the glue take the tail comb spread it out a little bit for this i'm really not gonna wait until the glue dries due to the fact that <sighs> due to the fact that i don't know <laughs> but i didn't really wait but as you can see i added more ghost bond because it wasn't sticking when i should have just waited till it got tacky but i waited for the other side to get tacky and this is why i say use the mousse because as you can see the hair was actually sticking to my skin so i had to take the tail comb and take it on out because i just got frustrated when i realized i didn't have ear tabs like how was i making a video without ear tabs like you need ear tabs <laughs> whatever so we're just going to take it now because as you can see the glue dried clear and we're going to pull on it and we're going to press it down. Don't worry about that actually it's like I said I'm going to cut it off when everything is all said and done. And I'm just going to stick that in my mouth all right and as you can see I got my scarf ready because I got to do this quick and I got to just give it some time for it to dry and hold and stay into place due to the fact that my air tabs wasn't ready. So the glue was like, listen, sis, you playing games. I don't got time. So get it together. Get it together. All right. So, yeah, this is it. And this is me again on that same side. I had to add extra glue. I just didn't show that part on camera. So now I'm going to take my scarf, you know, wrap it around my head. And then I'm going to sit and let it dry, all right? And when it's dry, you're going to see... I forgot to film the um, parts when it was dry, so don't come for me. This is just me because I had to go to an event. I was. This is New Year's Eve. So, yeah, I hope you like it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you in my next video.